Congratulations, that was absolutely fantastic. How are you feeling? Do you know what? Words can't even come close. I've been, um, everybody back home knows how long I've been doing this and how hard I've been trying. And I've had so many times whenever I've come off here and I've not felt quite the way I am today. I went out on that track today, super nervous, but with a plan and with a mission and it was to hear her on the vein. And uh, when I was getting a bit boxed in there, I thought, oh my God, I have all the legs left, but nowhere to go. Yeah. I didn't grow up playing Kamogi to get boxed in though. And uh, look, I want to thank everybody, everybody who has helped me get here today to win my first senior gold medal for Ireland, to be at the top of the podium, to hear our national anthem and to show world athletics that the Irish are here. And we are, we are here to show where we belong. Absolutely. You mentioned Camogie. Your mum texted me to say, pushing through like Camogie. And I know she's not here, OK, but she texted me earlier on saying she had everything crossed, the candles were lit, and she's pacing up and down the sitting room. Will you please just say, Mum, we did it. Mummy, Daddy, everybody at home, I love you to bits. Thank you so much for everything. We did it! <laughs> Kira, come here though, the race, like so, championship finals are always a bit tactical. Gemma Riki took it out and then slowed it right down. You put yourself in a really good position all the way through. And then the last 120 metres, it was almost like, uh oh, there's nowhere to go. What was going through your head? Look, I knew that I had it in my legs. I was like, oh my God, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. Um, it often opens up and I was telling myself not to panic because if you put the brakes on and try to come back, you know yourself, sometimes that really hinders while you're running. Um, and I was like, I'm getting a gap, I have to get a gap. The gap had to come and it was going to come. And look, I made sure that I had, <laughs> in coming into 100, 100 metres to go, that I saw a little bit of light and I was like, I am taking it. And uh, yeah, I grew up being strong and, and showing my presence. And um, I did it on the track out there today and uh, I came home with gold. <laughs> gold, you've now got a full set of European outdoor medals. It's fantastic. Yeah, I prefer three golds, but I'll take gold, silver and bronze, taking them back home to Portaferry. But what about this season? Because this is like, you haven't really kicked off your season just coming into this. You now have a couple of races under your belt. But confidence and what you did there, not just from a, a pace perspective, but tactical. All that tactical news, that confidence that you have. You must be looking forward to what's going to come down the road. Do you know what? I really am. I don't feel like I'm the polished item out there yet. It's only the beginning of the season and everybody knows we have much bigger goals coming in August. So I feel like I'm just at the beginning of where my shape can be. I knew coming in here I was in good shape, but I had a bit of a rocky month coming into this. Um, but you know what? It's a lesson in life. Not everything can be perfect. It's about how resilient you are and how much you want it. And I was the person who wanted it the most out there today and that's why I came through. I'm excited. I said to my boyfriend today, I'm looking forward to getting back training. It's a strange thing to say going into a final, but I'm like, I want a long tempo. I want to work on the fitness. Thanks so much. I want to work on the fitness. And um, yeah, that's just, uh, that's just a start to the year. Absolutely. Uh, just last question. You ran over there to all the Irish fans. You, you, you just threw yourself into them. That is some feeling. Look, I... I said, I, I tweeted after the guys had their relay victory that nothing comes close to the Irish support. You look around the stadium and there's always tricolours and everywhere they're flying, it gives me such a lift and it gives all of us Irish athletes such a lift. To know that these people are, are spending their hard earned cash to come and watch us and to cheer us on. There's people that I'm seeing down there that have been at every championship I've raced. And knowing how much it means to them that I'm winning a gold. It fills my heart with joy. Georgina Drum was down there and she was president of our association when I was just a tot. And um, seeing her today with it, tears in her eyes, thinking back to when I won a wee, a wee Ulster All-Star type award for, for athletics back in the day. These are the people at the grassroots that give us every chance to be here. And if it wasn't for those people, I wouldn't be able to represent my nation at the highest level. And they're the people that are there week in, week out, rain, hail or shine in, in Ireland. They're the people standing at the side of a track with the non-glamorous jobs, not like here today. And I can't thank them enough on the behalf of all of the athletes. Those people have built our sport and they'll continue to do so. And if I can encourage people to get into those volunteer positions because I'm one of the old ones now and we have amazing youngsters coming through. So uh, to all of the fans and to all of our support out there, thank you. Yeah, and this look, is your medal. And look, you've gonna, you're going to motivate and inspire so, so many to get involved in the athletics. Enjoy that podium, you deserve it. Thank you so much, thank you. Hold on.